Welcome to Noonday Prayer. Our opening sentence can be found on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm this afternoon is Psalm 150, found on page 807. Alleluia! Praise God in his holy temple. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with the lyre and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with the resounding cymbals. Praise him with the loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson is Mark chapter 4, verses 30 through 34. Jesus said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when it is sown, it, gr it grows up and becomes the greatest of all the shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them except in parables, but he explained everything in private to his disciples. Today, we celebrate the lesser feasts of Cassiani, poet and hymnographer, from 865. Cassiani is the only woman whose writings appear in the official liturgies of the Orthodox Church, and one of the only two Byzantine women who is known as an author under her own name. Born to a wealthy family in Constantinople before 810, Cassiani received an excellent education in matters both secular and sacred impressing bishops and monastic leaders such as Theodore the Studite with her literary style and knowledge while she was still a young girl. According to the three Byzantine chroniclers, when Emperor Michael II of Amaron died, his son Theophilus succeeded him. To find a suitable empress for Theophilus, a bright show of eligible maidens was arranged. Kansiani among six finalists. In an ancient custom involving the exchange of a golden apple, Theophilus approached Kassiani saying, from women, Eve, came our corruption. Kassiani coolly replied, but from women, the Virgin Mary, also came our exaltation. Her bold response evidently proved too much for Theophilus who then moved past her to offer the apple to Theodora. After her rejection by Theophilus, Cassiani immediately embraced the monastic life with what seemed more relief than disappointment at her narrow escape from being the empress. Among her pursuits as a nun include music and literary accomplishments of distinction, courageous defense of the veneration of icons, and the founding of a new convent. She was actively involved in the theological controversies of her day, and in, in a verse she penned denotes her bravery. I hate silence when it is time to speak. By 843, Cassiani had built a convent on the seventh hill of Constantinople, becoming its first abbess. Most notably, however, Cassiani was a prolific hymnographer and poet. Hundreds of poems and approximately 50 of her hymns are ex extinct, including both her musical compositions and lyrics, 
Of those, at least 23 hymns are included in Orthodox litur liturgical books. The most famous, the hymn of Cassiani, is sung in the Orthodox Church on the eve of Holy Wednesday. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God of boundless mercy, whose handmaiden, Cassiani, brought forth poetry and song, inspire in your church a new song that following her most excellent example, we may boldly proclaim the truth of your word, even Jesus Christ, our Savior and Deliverer. Amen. At this time, I invite you to offer your intercessions and thanksgivings, either aloud or in the silence of your heart. Dear God, we pray for the children of grace and Holy Trinity. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>